Hey there, budgeters. This is Marcy of Worrell from Worrell Creations. I hope you all are doing well. Um, I wanted to show you another one of my binders. I wanted to showcase it. Um, again, I get a lot of questions about like how many binders I have, what's in my binders, and that type of thing. So I just thought that I would showcase a couple of the ones that I like the most. Um, so this red one is my Disney vacation binder. Um, and actually, we are a huge Disney family. Okay, we've been at this point, I think, 49 times, 47 times, something like that. So we've been quite a bit. Um, we've been to the one in Florida in America, and of course, we've been to the one in California, Disneyland. Um, and so we actually have an upcoming trip um, that won't take place this year. It's actually for next year going to Disneyland in Tokyo. Um, so I am super excited about that. Most of you know um, that I once lived in Japan, but I did not get a chance to go to Disneyland while I was there. I did go to Universal, but not to Disneyland. So um, that is an upcoming trip. So we definitely have to, of course, save for it. Um, and so I decided instead of just, you know, stashing money away in a bank account like normal and then, you know, just kind of it being there, I would make myself a binder specific to the things in that trip. Um, so all of my binders are very, very intentional on in what I put in them. Um, you will not see any like really broad, vague categories in any of my stuff. Um, in fact, I think probably the most broad is going to be this Disney one because most of them are very finite. Like there's a, a envelope for Starbucks, there's an envelope for Chinese takeout, there's an envelope for me to eat at lunch when I want to. You know, I'm very, very intentional and very specific in how I keep my things separate. So so with this one, um, again, just one of my binders that I love. Again, I have a collection, different colors, and I have some that are clear. Um, this particular one has envelopes that I made myself using three um, mil and five mil uh, laminating sheets. And then, of course, I punched them with the six-hole punch that I have, um, added a budget sheet inside, and then, of course, the cash in there. And then there's also a tracker, and I'll kind of show you that. Now, a few of these do have funds already in them. Um, most of them do not because I just got started with this at the very end of December. Um, so this is a new binder for me this year. I've been cash stuffing for quite a while. Um, and each year I add on a new binder or a new trip I'm saving for. Um, it just depends on what's going on. I do currently have... Um, a binder even for like, uh, I have an upcoming trip to Tokyo, uh, upcoming trip to Korea in the future. So I have uh, binders for even those for different things, not necessarily all of the things, but for like spending money, um, the ones that are related to work, where I know that like work pays for the flight and that kind of thing, but I'll need spending money for me to go shopping. So for Disney, my categories are plane tickets, the hotel, park tickets, ground transportation, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and souvenirs. Now keep in mind we are a family of six. So with me, anytime we're going somewhere and we're all going, it does take quite a bit of funds to, to kind of pull that off. Um, so for each of these, what I did was I of course made the envelope and the envelopes themselves are the clear laminating uh, mill, like I mentioned. And what I did was I took one sheet and actually put the vinyl on it, whatever the words were in the design and then the little emblem symbols that I wanted to do, icons. And then, of course, I used the five mil um, to create the actual pocket itself and then hole punched it with my six hole punch. And I'm actually going to do a video in the near future, uh, probably next weekend, that actually shows how to make these. A couple people have asked. Um, and while I did at one point think there were tons of videos already out there, but I have had some people ask, so I think I'm going to make one. It doesn't, you know, hurt me to do it. Um, I love being able to showcase stuff. So you'll see I have the budget sheet, which is just like these. I buy them um, in a huge pack from Amazon. I do also have um, some that I print offline as well, but I do prefer these just because I like the weight of the paper. It's a little thicker than regular paper, but not quite as thick as the cardstock I have. So I love those. Now on the back, however, is a tracker and I created all of these too. So for instance, you'll see plane tickets. It's going to run us $1,200. And I know that doesn't sound like a lot to go to um, Tokyo, but from where we're going to be flying from, it's only going to cost $1,200 because we're already going to be sort of in the area. So each one of these hearts is $32. So each time I put in $32, of course, I'll color one in until I get to the $1,200, and then it'll be fully funded. Um, and so I created that one for plane tickets. I I'll actually turn around this way. I have one for hotel. Um, and this one, of course, is also $1,200 roughly because we're only going to be there like uh, two days. Um, and then, of course, each heart is $32. 
the one for park tickets. Park tickets are going to run us about $1,200. Um, I need to go back and look because we are a military connected family. And so a lot of times parks do offer a discount for that. And I'm not certain if they do. I thought for sure when I looked at it once before that they did, but I am not absolutely certain. Um, so I just put $1,200 in the event that they don't. Um, and again, so each one is, is $32. Then I have ground transportation and ground transportation has just a little bit of money. That's one of the ones I started. I figured we'd only need about $100 for taxi, uh, the subway, that type of thing. Um, and that's if we don't actually run a car because my husband mentioned, well, what if we just run a car when we get there? So right now I'm banking on us going on the subway. So I put down $100. So each little heart is roughly $3. Okay. Then breakfast for two uh, mornings at Disney. I made a goal of, 50, of $150. Um, so $4 roughly each heart, again, has a little bit of money. Lunch is $150, so that'll be $4 per heart. Dinner is a little bit more, so I put $360, and that would be roughly $10 per heart. Snacks, um, which has a little bit of money, is $60 is the goal at $2 per heart. And again, you'll see I put some of the, like I said, little icons and did the wording. And then lastly, souvenirs, I put $600 because we have four small kids that'll be going um, and then my husband and myself. So my thought was if we each have about $100, you know, because again, we've been to Disney tons of times. The souvenirs are roughly the same. So we figured more than likely no one would need more than $100 to get what they want. Um, so again, souvenirs um, will be the $600 and that's $16 a piece. Um, and that was kind of it. So, um, these are going to have added any to these just yet. So that one's still empty. So again, I made the trackers. I made all of the vinyl with the wording. And then of course, like I said, I added the icons. I mean, I tried to keep it fun. I tried to keep it, you know, stuff that would, uh, motivate me as I'm saving, you know, to go on the trip. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Again, look for that video in the near future and I will talk to you all soon. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.